for inviting me here and uh, I'm really happy to give a lecture in front of my great mathematicians. So let me start uh, from introducing what is post-mathematics. So I think uh, it is was first introduced by uh, Victor, uh, introduced by uh, Katz book uh, in 1996. And in his paper with Alvani and Katz, They say uh, Susie vertex algebra uh, gives a formalism for uh, the notion super superfield. I guess there are not uh, that much papers which deal with supersymmetric vertex algebra, but you can find lots of literatures uh, which say something about superfield. And I think th most of them can be interpreted in terms of supersymmetric vertex algebra, uh, more like mathematically. So I guess this is motivation. for vertex algebra, algebra with superconformer So let's begin with uh, reviewing what is superconformer uh, uh, vector. So let's say this is G, and then we should have OPE relation L over C minus W plus, I guess, C minus You probably mean N equals 1 super. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Superfield Y of a capital Z, which is which consists of Z and theta. Z is even and theta is odd uh, indeterminate. This is Y of a small Z plus theta of Y of the A of Z. These two are all uh, small Z. So, roughly speaking, one superfield corresponds to a couple of fields, and the parity of this one is uh, this one is odd. So, parity of this part is same as this part is same as this one, but for this one, you have this odd variable, and this this field has opposite parity uh, with this one. So. I guess D 
this is uh, the first motivation of super symmetry vertex algebra. Is it correct, Victor? <laughs> Uh, and then uh, there is a formal definition, and I guess it's uh, from uh, Victor. And also, <coughs> I should say this is n equal, uh, I will deal with just nk equal nk of supersymmetry vertex algebra. is almost same as uh, normal vertex algebra. So I'll, I'll just introduce like uh, very vaguely and then later on I will introduce again using uh, lambda bracket formalism which will be used in, uh, during this lecture. So yeah, we, we need vector sp super space. <coughs> and a vacuum vector which is even. And also, we have I, ah, sorry, so N is uh, so small N. Because later on, I will just write like N equal N CZ vertex algebra. So let's keep it different uh, N. So these are odd derivations. Uh, this I is not power, it's index. This is V Q V of capital Z. So this is super uh, fake root first part. <laughs> and also we need to write what is uh, what are what are the axioms, and I don't want to write down everything, but I will just say it also has like vacuum axioms and translation covariance and also locality and so on. So I I just want to say that the supersymmetric vertex algebra is has almost same kind of definition. Except that we have all derivations. And we will denote <coughs> that uh, y of a capital Z is summation of uh, summation of a j j I want so J and I want I M minus M minus J is just one here. So so you have to remember this notation because uh, even if I, I I use another kind of definition. I will still use this uh, notation, so I want to uh, I want to emphasize once more. Okay, so now I can introduce more convenient definition. Um, 
lambda is consists of small lambda. I mean, so I want to write that. And psi i's are odd. And we have we define the commutator relation minus delta i j lambda. And also I will write this nabla which consists of partial, which is translation uh, uh, operator in vertex algebra, and d1 to dn, and di dj is the two times the ij. some uh, technical details that you have to check for the well-definedness of uh, the, the lambda bracket, uh, something, some, some properties of a lambda bracket. But basically, uh, eventually, you can prove uh, that this capital lambda bracket has almost same same kind of properties as the small lambda bracket in vertex algebra. So let me just write down the notation I will use. So lambda bracket on C of D module will be denoted by A capital lambda B is equal to, I want to, I don't want to specify the, the sign, but you have to be careful what is the sign in front of here. But today I'm not going to worry worry about this too much. And side of can define uh, Susi Lickham-Former algebra, which is a uh, uh, C of D mode, C of Nabla module, with, with uh, lambda bracket, just find And Jacobian. And also, <coughs> a supersymmetric vertex algebra is also uh, is a Lie conformer algebra together with with uh, differential algebra structure with respect to all the DIs with some uh, quasi commutativity and quasi associativity and the formula. Yeah. Here you also have normally all the product which corresponds to minus one to Here, if you put here minus one, and here you put just uh, the set one to n, it becomes a normally ordered product. So, I think uh, you can see how similar uh, this super, uh, super symmetric vertex algebra to the ordinary vertex algebra. So, I should say there, there, there are some works uh, to be done, but uh, eventually everything looks really similar. Okay, so, okay. I 
one more thing that I want to mention. Is What's that an equivalent definition? Yeah, equivalent definition. So it's uh, it's called the reconstruction theorem. So if you have a supersymmetry uh, Lie complement algebra, then you you get uh, the universally enveloping algebra of this Lie complement algebra. This is using vertex uh, algebra, and also I will like this poly R, poly B, which is just as algebra, it's supersymmetry algebra generated by R, and this is called Suzy. So I didn't define what is Suzy Boson vertex algebra, but I guess uh, everyone here knows that instead of quasi commutative t and quasi associative t and weak formula if you put like quasi uh, just commutative t associative t and Leibniz rule then it becomes a uh, bottom vertex algebra okay uh, now In terms of uh, using this lambda bracket relation, uh, I will relate, I'll show how supersymmetry vertex algebra and vertex algebra are uh, related to each other. So it's uh, very simple. So let's. Uh, so there n equal one to z vertex algebra uh, from p in this vertex algebra. So let's say we have uh, n equal one supersymmetric vertex algebra, which means that you have this kind of lambda bracket. Uh, so you you will have some part uh, so let's write this lambda to the sum of lambda to the j of a j zero b plus psi of lambda to the j of a j one b then if you define small lambda bracket like uh, just take this part. Then it is. Uh, then it is vertex algebra. And similarly. What did you say? What is normal ordered product? Uh, normal ordered product. So. So normally ordered product, it's uh, defined like this. So, so you you always consider the 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 one part in the um, yeah. So uh, so I think I I think I have to say uh, this is about the the. The vertex algebra, which is strongly generated by some some element, but yeah, uh, yeah, and also we can. Uh, you can get this capital lambda bracket, which is uh, the A small lambda of B plus psi of A B 
put on the feet. Then it recovers your uh, our original capital on the feet. n is equal to 2, so see vertex algebra, and n equal 1, so see vertex algebra. So if you have a lambda b, lambda is n is equal to 2, which is, uh, you will, this is second derivation or derivation of a. to introduce uh, the, the most fundamental example of supersymmetry vertex algebra. First, uh, let's say our R is C of Nabla times G bar with uh, parity reversed uh, superspace. And then there is a center part. And the lambda bracket between these two. G is only algebra. Yeah, the G is least super algebra. Then one can check that. So if you take, uh, take, so take C of, uh, sorry, before that I have to. Everybody now know wha what is uh, supersymmetry upline vertex algebra, but I want to uh, fix the notation. So G is universal enveloping algebra of this R, a quotient uh, by K minus small k. And I will also consider the Poisson one, which is. Uh, I want to note that, uh, so let's say, uh, C of partial module with, with D of Recover uh, a fine vertex algebra in supersymmetric vertex algebra. So I should say uh, a fine 
the non-supersymmetric upper vertex vertebra sits inside this uh, supersymmetric vertex vertebra. Sorry? G without bar, because if we kill the algebra, it's a fine. No, no. So um, from from here, A in G should go to D of A bar. So, yeah. Now, I think uh, since in my uh, in the title of my talk, there's notion of notion of superconformer vector. So I want to at least introduce what is superconformer vector and a basic example. So superconformer vector. So I will assume our capital N is one or two. And and B is our uh vertex algebra. If G in B satisfies that uh, G under G is four minus M lambda plus sum of psi i i for g i is one to n plus b lambda psi one psi n uh, and also there is a basis Lambda a is two plus two times uh, lambda plus c i of a plus lambda square. Then this vector g is called. So, if you are familiar with uh, this kind of the, the relation between supersymmetry uh, lambda breaking and small uh, uh, small lambda breaking, you can recover uh, from n equal one superconformer vertex algebra from the the superconformer algebra I introduced at the beginning of this lecture. Most well known uh, e example of superconformer vector is the cat's toddler of vector in VK of G bar where K is not equal to zero. UI, UI are uh, dual basis of <laughs> plus one over three K times UI, UJ, UP, uh, UI is a value. 
this is uh, this is super conformer vector, and in this case, a bar is always one half for any. Okay, I think this is the first part of my lecture. Any questions? Okay, so now using uh, this language, I will introduce what is supersymmetric W ultra. That I haven't tried. Okay, yeah, that that is good question. Maybe yeah. yeah. So uh, okay, so I can I can go to supersymmetric W algebra. So it is n equal one case. So it's uh, so it's 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 known uh, known object in physics, I guess. So. When I first wrote the, the paper about supersymmetric of the algebra, I, I uh, referred the, the paper of months and privacy. It's uh, introduced uh, by, by superfield homerism. So at the beginning of my talk, I I told that so supersymmetry vertex algebra is a kind of mathematical language which uh, can uh, explain what is a superfield. So actually, in in I guess ninety something, uh, physicists introduced supersymmetric W algebra in terms of superfield, but it wasn't uh, there wasn't any any definition in terms of uh, vertex algebra. So. Uh, what I uh, motivated. So for for here, I have to make some some setup. So G is finite dimensional simple Lie super algebra, but it should have some uh, even supersymmetric symmetric. Linear form, non degenerate, <coughs> which means that uh, G has to be kind of a basic uh, super algebra. Invariant. Yeah, inv uh, sorry, invariant. Yeah. And F is odd nilpotent in OSP 1, 2, of algebra in, in G. And then uh, you will get the thinking grading. Grading. It's an important element which is odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So I, I is, and this is thinking grading. So for <coughs> to simplify notation, I just consider this kind of equation. Now, uh, 
Symmetry W algebra. I will construct supersymmetric uh, supersymmetric BRS the complex and, and get a quantum uh, Hamiltonian reduction. So let's consider. Fine vertex algebra, and also uh, uh, let's say this is uh, three three fermion part, uh, which is generated by the conformal algebra generated by n bar and. This is as vector vector superspace. This is isomorphic to the, this one, and this. and the uh, lambda breaking between them is <coughs> a. So actually, uh, from uh, from here, I need to say more technical details, but. Uh, for now, for now, I just uh, skip it. So, yeah, okay. And then now we consider the tensor product of between these two vertex algebra, and consider one element in Z, which is U alpha is basis of basis of n, n is positive part. And plus also you, you will have some 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 parity. And phi alpha, phi beta, phi u alpha. And this is, this is, we can easily check that this is even element. And then, Then we take an endomorphism in this vertex algebra C, which is defined by the zero zero uh, product of D. And then our vertex algebra is This is definition of, of the supersymmetric W. <coughs> so there are more Some theorem uh, by Volna, Vergasi, and myself that uh, so we check that this is isomorphic to uh, isomorphic to H of C minus and Q minus. So this part is uh, consists of uh, phi n part. And the building block, the negative building block. And this is isomorphic to uh, H zero of C minus Q, Q minus, which means that representative 
of this element is in uh, is an element in uh, just uh, consists of this part, not not without uh, without this part. Times zero part. So this is proved. Q minus is, if you consider C minus, which is generated by these these two kinds of generators, you can just uh, naturally restrict it, restrict Q into and also is generated by. And for the super conformer vector, uh, for a super conformer vector, so you take uh, cat's total of vector in in a five vertex algebra, and then. You add some <coughs> super conformer vector of this algebra. So, so uh, for the, the construction of this element, I will refer to uh, one of my students' uh, master thesis. So here you have some 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 proper super conformer field. And then also you add minus times d of h over two, then this gives super conformer vector in WK of G bar. And this is not not written. This is so perfect. So here uh, you can you can consider. Uh, the co super conformer, uh, the conformer weight of a bar for a in g f by one half of j a, which is j. So using this conformer weight, you can compute all the all the conformer weight in in the generators of this algebra. <coughs> okay, so I have a I guess 15 minutes. So now I think I can go to classical case. So classical case, everything is almost same or much simpler. Consider Cauli C, which is a fine Poisson vertex algebra. With what was the the name of this? The free free field part. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's say uh, classical limit of our our complex original complex, and you can. Uh, take take same D uh, which has same shape. I will not write it. And then you can also consider the VRST uh, cohomology and zero zero. It's a class called W algebra. It's a class called As in uh, normal W algebra theory, actually, 
if you just want to deal with classical case, you don't need to actually go to the BRST complex. But you can just consider that is you can just consider a fine a fine vertex algebra and then quotient out by m bar minus small f m and then take the invariance phase. Applying plus one vertex. Yeah, applying plus one vertex. So this is uh, proved. So since from now I will just uh, consider a Boson case, I won't, uh, I won't uh, talk about BRS complex, but just I will work with this one. Okay. And also uh, there's a very, very important lemma that there is a isomorphism. This is differential algebra isomorphism, which is P of F, differential algebra generated by this space, to W algebra. Let's say, oh, sorry, sorry. Such that, uh, the linear part of this one is just A bar, and also the conformal weight is same. Conformal weight is conformal weight of A. With the capital F. Oh, sorry. So now I can I can state my theorem. I'm not sure how to how much I can uh, explain the proof of this theorem, but uh, let me quickly explain the sketch of proof also. Okay, so. So first, I want to say um, when G is in, in GLMN, it's uh, much easier to deal with. Uh, just assume that G is any kind of uh, simple least super algebra. So I will uh, just assume it, this is in gel inside GLMN. And also, the first case I have to consider is that F is principle in the potent. So this uh, in, in, in G L M N. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not not G L M N. Inside some big G L M N. Yeah. Uh, so let's say this type A B C D type. That's more clear. Then I guess it's uh, in Then G should be uh, SL M plus one M and was the plan plus minus one plan was the plan plus two plan or plan two. So for for this case, uh, I have full description of generators and and, and, and so on. So. It's, this is more easy. And also, since we wanted to find n equal two structure inside n equal one uh, W algebra, so I have to mention that to see n equal two structure, conductorally, we, we wanted to see F is inside some OSP1 to sub-algebra, but 
also inside OSP uh, SL21 in inside this. So I guess uh, I guess another paper by Ragasi, so Serpin and Sova. They they showed that if you assume two of these, then G should be SL and plus one N. So that's why we first considered as SL and plus one N case. And it is all classical. Yeah. Now I have to I can I can take my here. Ragosi and Ari, which is sitting here, and myself. Uh, so let's say G is SL and plus one and F is principal. Then W K L R F has the property that it has uh, n equal one superconformer uh, that is already known. I guess I explained. So it has n equal one superconformer uh, vector, as every W algebra has. And G primary generators in in n equal one sense. And moreover, there is n equal two superconformer. J and there is J primary uh, generators in in N two sets. Uh, I think I have like five more minutes. A uh, hard computation <coughs> that uh, recall a sketch of proof. So recall that there is a unique uh, isomorphism, differential algebra isomorphism omega, which is from your small f. Differential algebra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Differential algebra. And uh, so there, there is a theorem with uh, two of my students here. Uh, we we showed that. The uh, lambda bracket between these two can be obtained by some kind of Dirac reduction of a fine supersymmetry uh, supersymmetry perfect algebra. 
So we basically computed uh, all the bracket between this G and all the all the element in in the image up here. So using this lemma. that you check so G is where is G? G is one over K square. Is super conformer n equal 1 for conformer vector. And for homogeneous A, uh, F some <coughs> homogeneous one, is all G primary. <coughs> G, G is this one, minus uh, lambda psi over 3 of C, and J is G primary of weight, weight 1. So this can be proved. So this is another lemma. And then, so what we did is, so take J is minus 1 over K of omega of F bar, then J satisfies property So also it is not hard to see that uh, natural number, then J uh, of A is J primary. In N equal to source. Oh, I erased the Okay, so since we know this is all G primary, so we proved the first part of the our main theorem. Now we have to show that step four is omega of uh, a bar and d of a bar, d two of a bar, and since you, we have n equal to super conformer vector here, it should, this one should come from J of 
zero, zero. So what we should show is using this one. Generate uh, in n equal one plus, which implies that omega of a bar generate So this is kind of a uh, schedule proof of our theorem. So I think uh, I'm done.